Hey everyone, welcome to Eat with Nala. My name is Nala. I love to eat and travel the world. Today we are in Penang, Malaysia, and we are getting into this hearty noodle dish called Mi Kwa, and it is just so good. We are also trying this dessert that's native to Malaysia called Sago, so I can't wait to get into this food with you guys. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. Is that broth? No, oh, it's a gravy sauce. Gravy sauce, okay. He said that it's a gravy sauce. So I'm sure it's beef flavored. Chili. Tomato sauce. Thai sauce. Thai soy sauce, okay. And then soy sauce. The beef. The beef. Then he's adding the bean sprouts. What is this one called? The uh, Chinese choy sa. Chang choy sa. Chang choy sa. Um, which is like a leafy green vegetable. Then he's grabbing our noodles there. It smells so good. Then he just has that simmering over this hot fire. Then he's gonna do the egg. And it's cooked kind of medium. This is what real apple juice looks like. It tastes just like a green apple. So, as soon as he brought it out, I'm hit with the aroma of that tomato sauce. I think it's actually ketchup. A lot of other countries call it tomato sauce. It looks so good. First, we're going to try that hot soup. Gosh, that is so good. Then we have these spaghetti like noodles. That sauce is piping hot, it's flavorful. It's funny because they use such simple flavors, but somehow the food always tastes like they cooked it for afterwards. So we're gonna get some of those. The way they absorb the flavor of the sauce, it's just so good. They are the perfect al dente. They're not overcooked or anything. And we're going to get into this beef as well. So that beef is really good. You can tell it's not a super fatty cut of meat, but they cooked it just right to where it's still tender. And then we're going to do some of that egg with the soup. So good. Something that I noticed from being in other countries, the eggs are always a much better quality. It's creamy. You can just tell from the color. It's a nice golden color. It's fresh. It's a fresh and it was actually, it was only 10 um, ringgit, so it was very cheap. Georgetown just has so much food that we are going to have so much fun here. They add the perfect amount of bitterness. They really know how to mix flavors here. You have the creamy milkiness of the egg. You have the sweet and spicy mixture of the sauce. The saltiness and then this little bitterness of the leaves is just a perfect combination. And the crunch. 
and the fries gonna be fried. So guys, I'm gonna finish this up and we'll be off to the next destination. I'll see you in a minute. I'll be back in the kitchen. She's cutting the mango for the mango side right now. Those are those tapioca pearls. This mango pudding. Mango pudding. She's putting the mango pudding in the middle. There's a lot of thought that goes into the presentation of this one. Very beautiful. She arranges them delicately. The mint leaves. Mm -hmm. Coconut, Coconut milk. milk. Yes. Thank you. I was so excited for this. It's the cutest thing. So my camera's dying. Tapioca pearls, coconut milk, pudding, and It's a very cool and refreshing dessert. It's not too sweet. And I love to let that ice cream melt in there. Just permeate the whole bit. That I love about a lot of like um, desserts in Asian countries, they're not like overly sweet, overly processed. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching this video. My camera is dying, unfortunately, so I have to leave. I'm gonna spend some alone time with my psycho, and I'll see you guys on the next video.